Nephi is back, and so is the slave caller. Man, who cares about an engagement ring? We got an engagement slave caller. Now, some people are kind of upset about it. Some people have mixed feelings about it. I think that the whole point of her taking the slave caller back is not to become a slave, but more of, listen, I trust you, and I understand what the image of the slave caller is. But even so, I will put this on by my own choice because I love you. Isekai, it's not Isekai. Fantasy, <laughs> landed, slavery, just common. The common dubs. Anyways, um, his friend Barbatos, the fight. Like, we're friends again? I don't know how to feel about this, but I'm not a sorcerer. So if you really think about like high school or like college or elementary school, whatever, dudes being dudes, it kind of makes sense. Sometimes you'll start beefing, you'll start fucking fighting, and then after the fight, hug it out, handshake, truce. Become friends. I think that does make sense. Nephi is back. Everyone is saved. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction. The legendary sacred swords, right? One of them is gone. Chastil, join us. Come to our castle. I actually like Chastil a lot. She's funny. Did bro just bow to a sword? It is a sacred sword. It is a sacred sword. What does he say? At some point, I was simply doing the church's bidding. Basically, just being a mercenary. これでいい。シャスティル。その<笑> <laughs> not saying ball people are evil. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But this guy, mm, he's acting a little bit too nice. We should probably not take the bait. Mm, are we being gaslit? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. The most dreadful of the sacred soul realists. Okay. We have a new challenger approaching. He's got a pretty sick scar down his face, but I... Zagan! Well, then again, Chastil versus Zagan before, I thought that that was like a no match. There was no way Chastil could do it, but her OP sword kind of did something, and then Nephi had to kind of clutch. Zagan did become a fucking Mao now, but this guy. Maybe? Maybe? To kill Chastil? Come on, at our place. And then. We can protect her. So like, holy shit, really? Is this a misunderstanding? Would that dude actually show enough to kill her? Even an arc demon should know better than to hit a child. <laughs> Peeking, so cute. Oh, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> he should play along with it. He should act surprised. <laughs> the height difference! She couldn't do it! It was to go like this, right? Yes, who it is? Oh, she got like a ribbon around the collar now. Yeah, she just wants to cheer you up, maybe. She is very cute. Tell her that she's cute. Okay。小さいは、シーザードレッシングと同じ椅子でアバターロールでスープは大トミールのコンソメ。ホーリーシット。羊の素手を用意。ところで、シーザードレッシング。はい。マニュエラさんから聞いたところに。ウェイ、
You think it's her eggs? No. Nah, she wouldn't have given her own. Nah, she wouldn't cuck Nephi like that. Would she? We need more of that. We, we need more of that, bro. I want to see what it looks like! Maybe Zagan does too. Pudding. Spoon. Feed Nephi. Feed Nephi. Umai? What is this, Food Wars? <gasps> Barrier broken, never mind. Bravatos. Oh, the lizard thing from last time. Yeah, he's uh, one of the people we saw in episode one. Yeah, one hell of a way to knock on the gate, bro. Hello. Would you like some pudding? What if he just wants the pudding too? Yeah. Valfor, Vore, they call them Vore, I don't, Valfor, 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 that's, Vore is apparition. Yeah, I remember this girl on the left, because, you know, girl Booba, Barbatos, the other furry dude that the girl Booba was talking to, and um, Valfor was kind of just alone. <laughs> I've never seen a man so intimidating. Eating <laughs> pudding! <laughs> look, look at him! He's eating such a cute dessert! <laughs> He looks so demanding. Look at it. It's like they're ready to fucking kill. The pudding nephew made. Don't you dare disturb me. Uh, he's actually waiting. <laughs> he's actually waiting. You dare disrespect the pudding? Oh, what the mouth do? That's <laughs> good. Nephew heard this real thought. What did he say? You're going to get dirt on my food, give it a rest? Look like a martial artist there. Oh. That's why the scaly has hair. That makes a lot of sense. Who's underneath the armor? This girl? Girl? She's the fucking the dragon lolly in the opening! What? There you go. Token, token, token lolly. <laughs> Episode title Child Abuse. <laughs> even an arc demon knows better than to hit a child or something. Nah, nah, nah. She deserved this shit! She tried to fucking fuck with Nephi's pudding! Nah, 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 nah. We're correcting her. No, we're correcting her, man. You're stuttering, bro. Cold medicine when you knocked her out cold. Cold medicine when he fucking went like this. She's so tiny. Then again, usually lollies like this, especially dragon lollies, aren't they like 9,000 years old? Okay, we have a guest room now. Great. Uh, I've never seen um, that dragon maid. You know the show where it's like the main character is like a girl and she's an office worker and dragon maid Kobayashi or something. And then there's the white haired lolly dragon Kan Kana. She kind of looks like Kana. I haven't seen it, but everyone kind of knows who Kana is, right? Like she's like kind of actually dominated like the lolly representation back in the day, but like eh, green haired Kana. Is that green haired Kana? Am I gonna piss people off? <laughs> <laughs> so feisty. Strangle a child. Yeah, and you're a child. Can't kill a child. Okay. So you think that he's the weakest? Okay. That's right, the arm was a sorcery, right? What is this? Wow, classic! Dragon Lolly! Ah, classic, classic mental gymnastics! How can we put a nine-year-old girl's body in a thong in an anime and get away with it? I got it! 
She's actually 9,000 years old. And oh, all of a sudden, it's just okay. Sorry, 10,000 year old guys. How old is she? You're correcting her right now. It's like detention. <laughs> Zaka's basically dead right now. Yeah. How? The fucking moe, bro. This is too. I can I. I don't know if I can say cunny here. Cunny means fun and funny, fun, fun and cute, right? Okay, yes. My definition of cunny is fun and cute. Nephi's assistant. Alright, she can live with us and be Nephi's servant, bro. <laughs> no! <laughs> Maybe Nephi can cook you up. Child eater Zagan! Fuck Sorcerer Slayer Zagan. No, I. Child Slayer Zagan sounds so fucking suspicious. We're gonna be on a fucking list. So the church may actually think this, or just regular humans? Eating dragon flesh will make them stronger. Is that. Real? That sounds OP. Alright, let's skin the little girl, drain the blood, and make the fucking bones into a that's so sad! He's actually drawing bread on the ground because he's so hungry! Maybe. Give her some pudding. It's good! The weak. Don't you dare! Bad girl! Try it out. Nothing is better than a starved little girl <laughs> fucking coughing them. <laughs> this is way too cunny. This is way too cunny, bro. Oh. I think Nephi is stronger than you. Nephi is cracked. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking skin you, drain your blood. Yeah. Veil something. I forgot her name. What is her, what is her real name? Fuck, I forgot. You want more? Wait till she tries the pudding. So not only do we have an elf slave, we also have a child dragon slave. <laughs> Zagan's plantation just keeps continuing to scale in business. Four. Alright, four. Zagan looking very cute. What? Oh! Oh, because like two dragons, like, you know, big strong dragon. Big mouth fire attack. <laughs> Look at Zagan still peeking from behind. Uh, not anymore, you don't. Zagan blush. Eavesdropping Riz. Just uh, come hang out with us. Her goal is to just survive. Just hang out with us. We can protect her. Cause he bought me. <laughs> True, we we did buy her. What do you stay here? What shit? He bought me. I'm a slave. Welcome to the plantation. She's a slave by choice, guys. I don't think she does. Oh. Alright, she's learning how to cook too. Oh, dragon wings, she can fly obviously because she's a dragon. That means that she should be able to have like a hybrid form, full dragon form, human form. 
やはりもう一度マルコシアスの城魔王殿を知る How old was he? He was millennia old a r c t e I... I'm starting to realize the significance of、uh, Marcosia. I thought he was just some random dude that just happened to, you know, have Nephi back in the day, but it seems like he just has all the fucking knowledge. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it is ready. <laughs> Laser eye. She's reminding me of a、uh, fucking. What's her name? From Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic. That's the last time I've seen this much fucking, you know, uh. Red eye. Fuck, what was her name? It was, uh. Fuck, do you guys remember her? She also had green. Yes, Rose, Rose. She also has green hair. Se separate characters, anyways. It's been a while since I see. Yeah. <laughs> Fight me, bitch. I'm gonna fuck you up, little kid. And when I do, you gonna fucking extend your slavery here. Okay. She's so cute! Oh, Poji. Oh, she's learning. She got corrected. This really does look like a dad and a mom and a kid, huh? Huh? Sure, could help you out. I trust you. Very base, Listen, listen, listen. We're already skirting around the edges with like elf slavery, dragon lolly. If we had Zagan forcing this dragon lolly to obey, oh. We gonna get into some remaster territory, bro. Oh, I got cancelled. That's the title. Nethi is、uh, very out of touch right now.、Oh, sorry. Is she an actual kid, though? I know that she looks like a kid, but the. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's probably the. Actually, no, let, let her cook. Is she actually a kid or not? Are you? I know you look like one, but how old are you? Well, she sure acts like a kid. She looks like a kid, so it is a kid. Don't you dare pull this fucking mental gymnastics on me. I don't give a fuck how old you are. This is gonna sound weird. Age does not matter. Wild take, but the reason why I say age doesn't matter is because. You use this argument to justify why you can put a fucking lolly in a thong because she's actually 9,000 years old. That's why age doesn't matter. I care about the body type, what you look like. If you look like a kid, if you behave like a kid, you are a kid. If you're gonna say, look at me, I'm like a kid, but I'm 9,000 years old. No, that's bullshit anime logic for the lollycon. Okay. What's up, Four? Zaka actually got hurt. Oh, 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 You belong to me forever. I think she likes being objectified by you, bro. The spoon is still in her hand. Oh, oh, Papa. I mean, she's pretty much an adopted child now, right? <laughs> yeah. Marriage, mom, dad, family. <laughs> Both of them getting so shy and nervous around when they realize, bro. Oh, shit. Are we gonna get set up for a turning point? Oh, just like Mushoku Tensei, everything is too happy right now. That is the episode. 
Not only is Nephi our wife, we already have a kid. Adopt a kid? Four. She's great. She's so cute. She's oh, She's like... I don't know. She, she started off by kind of interrupting being rude, right? But she just wanted the power. And she's a kid. She doesn't know any better. And we fucked her up. And we learned about the lore about how human street dragons... The reason why she has to be in this outfit is because people have this... Um, legend, the myth that if you like drink, you know, bathe in dragon's blood, you're immortal. If you fucking eat the dragon's flesh, you get a lot of mana. You fucking break down the bones, any elixir, it's it's just gonna be cured. But that's not the case, right? It's just kind of like a false story to hunt down dragons. They're like an endangered species. That's why she has to like strive for power no matter what. That's what she's been doing. But now, hey, she can just hang out with us, right? She can just hang out with us. We can protect her. And I feel like this is like a sanctuary for her, even though I joke about this being like a fucking plantation because it kind of is we bought Nephi and we have another assistant that's helping Nephi 4 is very cute Lolly Riz very funny very cute there is some vulnerable moments where she's like what you know you shouldn't trust me like this and you know when he started to you know treat her like a kid she started to cry because she probably forgot what it felt like to be actually treated her age her age, whatever it is, I don't care. She's a fucking kid. And she's just remembering, you know, remem memories about, you know, the dad and mom and how things should be. And hey, we got, you know, Zagan, a nephew now that can be like mom, dad, and she can be here. And we can all hang out and everything's going to be happy. Now, before everything's going to be happy, though, usually it's stuff like this happens before, you know, this is like the calm before the storm. And the storm could be this dude, the most savage, ruthless sword dude. I don't know. He's getting pretty hyped up. Zagan is pretty OP too. So is Nephi. Is this guy really going to be that OP? Is he really hunting Chastiel? I don't know. We'll find out next time. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.